walking right into him. Exactly. And this broke his knees. Or or worse. His head. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but but it, it wasn't that he just ran. Like he was walking down the sidewalk. And then, then just it started raining too heavy. Yeah. Whipped that hood on, like pulled it down with his hands. And as he's pulling it down, he completely just changes his direction twist. and bolts yeah. into the road. It wasn't, yeah. It's not like he was headed towards the road and then sped up. He just completely yeah. made like a 90 degree turn, jumped out into the road. Yeah. Maybe he has a death wish. Maybe. Heard a car coming, just jumped out in front of it. Wow. And then, you know, he couldn't make it too obvious. The guy stopped, and so he had to just sort of, oh, I guess I was just crossing the street, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's raining. What do you expect? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, the rain is depressing. I did read an article today about how uh, there's some sort of trifecta of reasons why people would be depressed at this time of year. I think uh, part of it is that uh, seasonal effectiveness disorder. Days are getting shorter. The people are getting sadder. <laughs> uh, all right. So you know, on these on these sad, cool days, what better way to cheer yourself up than listen to Kadon Janko Wednesdays at lunch? At lunch. I was wondering if you were going to turn depression into an ad. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> did it again. Yep. Uh, now, now, some people are dealing with. Depression, Matthew, I think a week or two ago, we were talking about all the anger that you have building up inside of you oh, yeah. and uh, how you don't seem to have a healthy way to get it out. You're just bottling it up inside. You told me you went to a concert last night and it helped uh, help you uh, blow off some steam. Yeah. Tell me about this <laughs> concert, Matthew. Uh, I generally don't like going to concerts. Mm-hmm. I like the anticipation of going to a concert sure. and the having gone to a concert. But the actual, you know, six hours I'm spending standing inside of a, in line and then inside of the venue and mm-hmm. just, just fending off people, like just holding my ground, mm-hmm. making sure nobody touches me with their sweaty bodies. <laughs> uh, that is the part I don't like. And I couldn't help it this time. I was in there as a, as a Sum 41 concert. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, admittedly, this this was... Recon, uh, go on. Yeah, just I, maybe not recon, just self satisfaction. Think about I, signing some forty one to a big contract or what? No, but the lead singer Derek used to be married to Avril Lavigne. Oh, and there's something about when I have a crush on somebody. Um, as you, soon as you become a jealous man, yeah. But when they move on, uh, and they're in a relationship with someone else, I hate that person. Now, as soon as... But now that relationship is over. As soon as they break up... Are you now in league with uh, Derek Wibley or whatever his name is? In a way. In a way. I, I, I like to spend time with that person afterwards because I like basking in their suffering. You know, oh they're, gosh. They're, they're hurt. He's probably not that hurt anymore. It's been... Years. Many years. Yeah. But I like just well, knowing... who knows? That, uh, yeah, you still seem a little hurt, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, I never had a fair shot. Well, but I just uh, so it was a little bit of that. I wanted to see him suffer. Okay. Um, so you enjoyed the concert? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it basically was. I don't go to, to very heavy concerts, mm-hmm. and this I didn't think would be that happy. But yeah, you know, a lot of people were pushing around. Mosh pits became a big part of this this show, mm-hmm. and for the first two bands, the opening bands, I was. Holding my ground. Stand and pat. Yeah, exactly. No one, no one was going to tip me over. No one was going to push me. I I just I was very sturdy. So but, you were, were you, were you like uh, one of these people at the edge of the mosh pit kind of shoving people back into the mosh pit? Yeah. Yeah, because people behind me wanted to be in the mosh pit. So they okay. wanted to push me into the mosh pit to extend the mosh pit. And you're like, no, like, I'm no. a mosh pit wall. So eventually they just had to go around me. Okay. And I was pretty good. Helping people up, pushing other people in. Oh, that's it's very, like a gatekeeper. Yeah, that's, that's that's very that's a, that's a that's a very good approach to a mosh pit. Go on. Yeah, but after after when some forty one started playing and I was getting you know pushed around a little more than I liked, I was like, that's it. I'm going in. I got my I got my steel toe boots on. Ooh. I got the anger is just boiling inside of me. I could feel it rippling through my veins. It, it, this is all the anger that you've been bottling up for so long. Yeah. Some forty one pop the cork. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm thinking I'm gonna tr- <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna jump in here and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shove some people around. And Sebastian, at two songs in, I 
realize what I'd been missing my whole life. Oh, really? Just thrashing around, elbowing people. Not even supposed to do that. No, you aren't. But it's dark. <laughs> Who's going to know? I crushed some poor soul's feet worse than, uh, worse than I even intended with these steel toe boots. So you're, you're, you're just elbowing people in the gut. You're stomping on feet. You, <laughs> you realize you should maybe like uh, start, start training as a fighter or something to blow off the steam instead of going to a Sum 41 concert and beating no on uh, youngins. No way, man. They, it felt so good just to, to be pushed and push back and go, go hog wild, hog wild in there. And I thought, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this for the next hour and a half. And after the two songs, I was drenched in my own sweat and completely out of breath. And oh, one yeah. of my shoelaces was untied, which is really inconvenient. And I had to that is, yeah. uh, make my way out so I can so, tie that shoelace and, and compose myself. So, so, um, I guess the Sum 41 is not a metal band. Could we call them a, a punk band? A I think, pop I think, punk band? I think that would be fair, yeah. So it's not very punk of you to go, oh, sorry guys, i got to stop and tie my shoe. It's it? very important though because my shoelace is being stepped on by everybody, which prevents me from moving anywhere. Because I mean, else... unless you lift your foot so hard that you throw them away. Yeah, but it's like... making them lose the, the grip on the ground that... The string your your shoelaces in between. Yeah, but I don't be walking everywhere like I'm like walking through wet cement. I suppose that's true. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it was upsetting, and I was already real tired. I, uh, but it was my first so, time. But you're conforming to, you know, the man tying those shoes of yours. <laughs> Better lace up. Yeah, I'm in for a, a world where I'm controlled. So, so Matthew, do you think this is going to be a thing you start doing, going to uh, punk shows and thrashing? Throwing elbows at the youngins. Well, that's the thing. I stomping want to, on kids' feet. I was thinking. I want to know if there's a way that I can filter concerts to what uh, there'll be a mosh pit at because I don't know music well enough to know mm-hmm. what will uh, when one will form organically, and I don't want to be the one going and starting a mosh starting pit, it yeah. in a place that doesn't that doesn't deserve it. But and I also want them to be young, younger than I, smaller even in size. Okay. Because I don't want them at the same level as my teeth. Because I'm very worried a head's going to fly back and hit me in the teeth. Let's get a mouth guard. That's the thing. I could do that. I'd really be prepared to get my my steel toe boots, the mouth guard, and maybe even some. Well, I don't know. I don't want to go boxing too crazy. gloves. What are you going to get? Who knows? Who knows? I just got I got to gear up and I got to go in well, and just let off some steam. As you describe this more and more, yeah. you're you're gearing up. You're getting a mouth protector. You think about boxing gloves. Again, maybe you should just go to a gym and start like sparring or something. Good exercise. Get that aggression out no. instead of spending like, you know, $60 for tickets you don't want to go mosh for two songs you don't care about and then uh, walk home all sweaty. But that's the thing. It's it's too you're in the light. It's too too bright in a boxing oh, Okay, ring, so huh? so you need to like uh, underground dark fighting. And it is anonymously and I need uh, you know, if I if I go a little overboard, I want to be able to blame it on someone else. <laughs> That's the... Like you just got caught up in the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, sorry, sorry. He's like, hey, you know, I patted a lot of people on the back. Uh, he's like, you know, it was a good time. It was a good time. But, you know, I probably elbowed one of them real hard. And <laughs> they don't know. You cracked a rib and then you're like, good times, man. Yeah. Good times. I have inconspicuous elbows. But so, uh, <laughs> it. Do you Did you wake up today like uh, so walking sorry. on sunshine? Or I you... woke up today like I had been hit by a bus. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? It's just like sore from, sore from being moshed at or sore from moshing like your muscles were everything sweating. everything you know you're pushed one way your neck goes the other way your 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 limbs are just all out of whack and it was uh but it, it just felt like maybe that's what a, a good stretch would be like like a good workout yeah yeah, yeah. So maybe you should it. stretch before moshing maybe maybe i don't know if it'll be my new thing but uh, if i can find some a younger audience maybe maybe like at a huba stank concert or something Man, like I haven't crowd. heard that band name in a long time. What's a what's a what's I feel a, like that is not a young audience. Oh, okay, maybe not. But I don't know what the young kid bands are now. A young kid band. I don't know, man. Bieber. Yeah, people might. That's like Bell Center kind of deal. Yeah, that's big venue stuff. They got security. Jonas you need a Brothers. little place. Yeah, I think I think you need to double down and go to like real metal shows where even bigger guys are there. I would die. I'd be, I'd be. Well, no, this is this is your training. You're 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 the little guy working his way up. No, I want to be the big fish in the little <laughs> pond. That's what I want to do. So, so find some like uh, high school high school punk shows and start moshing around. 
<laughs> that would be and pretty I'll be good. like, who is this guy? He's just beating everyone up, <laughs> stomping on our feet. He's got steel-toed <laughs> boots. A maniac. They're going to be that docile about it. and so. Well, yeah, because they're injured now, and they're licking their wounds going like, who is he? Why does he do this? <laughs> I don't know. He comes to all the high school shows. <laughs> um, oh. Well, now, Matthew, well, well, you've figured out your new hobby. Yeah. Uh, I was figuring out something entirely different. Um, while you're you're trying out moshing, going to concerts, I'm figuring out if I am indeed lactose intolerant. Oh man. I've been I've been wondering sometimes I eat a whole uh, grocery store pizza to myself. Jeez. And when I say sometimes, I mean most regularly. Most of, um, the most of the time. No. Um and I was wondering cuz after I eat that big pizza that big pizza I usually eat like three quarters of it and go, I should stop now. But then I'm like, it's just one slice left. Yeah. Let me just eat that one quarter of the pizza that's left. And then I do, and then I go to work or something and I'm burping. And I, my little brother is lactose intolerant. I think to myself, he burps when he has lactose. Maybe I've developed an intolerance to lactose. So I decided, much like I'm describing to you, to yeah. double down. I doubled down. I had a thick, thick uh, three cheese, grilled cheese, with a big glass of milk. Oh, yeah. Just to test this out. I'm going to go full lactose just to see. And it was so thick. Oh, Um, yeah. Like each bite was like, oh, boy. After it was cooling for a bit, the cheese was uh, re-coagulating or whatever. Yeah. Turning into just cheese again not melty goodness how many different kinds of cheese i had a mozzarella okay i had a edam oh yeah and uh and a craft single in the middle okay classic um, classic yeah um and i ate that sucker and i drank that milk you know what i felt fine did you just sit there and wait after yeah and then i, I sat there staring at my belly going like will it happen bring it on checking checking my watch every couple minutes going like okay okay um, and you know what? I felt fine. So I'm happy to announce I am not intolerant about lactose or anything else for that matter. It's very progressive of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm very glad to know this because I know that you've been, you're known for your pocket cheeses. That's right. I mean, uh, even today I was waiting for you. What did I do? I bought a sack of cheese and sat there on a bench eating cheese out of my pocket. Cheese and chips. Cheese and chips. I also had a. One of them uh, uh, Starbucks uh, Frappuccinos. Mm. That's full of milk, too. Yeah. Go, I go hard on the dairy. Yeah. You're, 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 you are the master of your own body, you know? I suppose so. That's, that's what they say. You tell your body what to take in and what to keep out. I guess. I mean, I wish I could tell my body to, like, keep in the muscles and yeah. take out the fat. And it won't listen to me on that. It's My body's telling me, you should exercise more. I look in the mirror, I go, yeah, body, you're right. Uh, <laughs> um, um, but back on the topic of dairy, Matthew, we were talking yes. about this earlier, how people say you shouldn't have so much milk. People aren't meant to have that much milk. <laughs> Babies are supposed to have milk. Uh, we're the only, isn't it weird? We're the only animals that drink other animals' milk. We're the only one that are smart enough to drink another animal's milk. Yeah. We're the only one who's smart enough to Start farming, build a car, fly with machines, yeah. make an internet, have thumbs, yeah, so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm not that surprised that we drink milk. So we managed to pasteurize it. We're smart as hell. Do a lot of other smart things, not I don't just see milk, no, you know. Yeah, I don't see no cows driving race cars. No. I I've never seen that. You know, I've never seen a monkey farm. I've seen a monkey go to space, though. Well, okay, yeah, you got me there. Mm. I haven't yeah. gone to space. Probably had some milk. Nice big glass of milk. Probably. Was this all... Yeah. So, yeah, really no animals. I'm saying... Now, I do agree with you. No other animals drink milk, except for smart ones. Sometimes at a farm, you see a, a dog run up and drink some milk out of an udder. Is cow. that true? It's got to be true. They know <laughs> milk comes out of there, and they're they're like, well... I'm not waiting for that milk to be put down in a bowl. I'm going to get it right from the right from the teat. But does a, a dog know how to how to 
extract it? Like, well, isn't there a very specific way to milk a cow? I feel like just a dog's well, big old tongue licking at it. 